and welcome to episode 78 of the Aria Bark podcast. My name's Caroline and I'm coming to you today from my home in Fife in Scotland. If you're a new viewer, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. It's great to have you here. How are we all doing? Hope you're all well. You can find me on Ravelry as either Aria Bark or my personal account, which is Sultra. We have a Ravelry group, which is the Aria Bark podcast. We have an Instagram page, which is Aria Bark Designs. We have a Facebook page, which is Aria Bark Designs. And we have a Kofi page, which is Aria Bark Designs. We are running two make-alongs at the moment. The first one is the hashtag ABP Stash Mash 2023. It started on the 1st of January and ends on the 31st of December. If it can be measured in metres, it can count. And it's basically just crafting from your stash. Whatever you decide your stash is, now you can... There is... That is basically the rules. It can be new stash, it can be old stash. Really don't mind. Yeah, don't care when it starts. Um, obviously, it would have to finish this year. Clearly, for it to count. Um, as long as it can be measured in meters, then that's fine. So, knitting, crochet, chinazi, and crochet, spinning, weaving. Can't think of anything else. Um, knit machines are permitted either. Nope, can't remember what they're called. Daddies, actual big knitting machines. Yeah, anything at all. Our next make along is the hashtag ABP Star Flanket K A L, and that is to start making the Star Flanket. That starts on the 1st of January, ends on the 31st of December. Yeah, there's not much to that. I'm trying to think, somebody had asked a question. You don't have to do it in hand dyed, you can do it in acrylic, we don't care, anything at all. Yeah, so that is that. I have decided, as you'll see, the title of this episode is going to be Too Much Yarn. Um, I am looking at a table full of it. Um, when we come to Stash Mash, I will have the updated, but I won't because I've still not updated it yet, what my stash currently is sitting at the moment. And that's just everything that's on Ravelry. So what I'm going to do is I am going to start doing the coming in and lined up together. Um, I'm just going to combine them. That way I'm not having to go back and re-show show yarn. My plan is going to be, I'm not putting myself on a yarn ban. I'm just purposely going to stop buying for the sake of buying. Um, I did get really, really gluttonous. I don't regret buy buying any of it, let's be honest. But I can't continue to keep buying because I'm not knitting fast enough to get through it. So... This week we have Podcast Corner, Coming In and Lined Up, Going Out, Stash Mash, Naughty Corner and Whips. And this week podcast there is Knitting and a Teeny Tiny, well it was Teeny Tiny, it's actually quite a lot, a uh, crochet. And timestamps for each section can be found in the description box below. I am very, very happy to announce that my lovely friend, Belinda, who is from Texas, has decided to start a podcast. Now, I was first introduced to Belinda through the My Yarn Corner Patreon Zoom. Belinda is lovely. She very kindly took us on your yarn crawl. It's a good job I don't stay in America. It's quite the same. My stash would be worse. Alex has been trying to talk Belinda into doing a podcast for a while. And she finally gave in. 
and decided to do one so we're still happy to do now in full transparency um, this had already been included on my show notes that I was going to talk about Belinda's podcast however I did win a prize I'm so excited there is yarn goodies and American sweets. I will leave Belinda's YouTube channel linked down below. Please go over and watch. It is absolutely lovely. Belinda is just... Belinda is amazing. Um, yeah. Go over like, subscribe and leave a wee comment. As I mentioned in the last episode, obviously my birthday was coming up. I got very, very spoiled. Um, the lovely Mr. Bark had bought me the Knit Pro Mindful Needles. I think it was the Believe set. I'll stick a picture in. Love them. Um, I can highly recommend the mindful the mindful needles. Oh, they're lovely. So much so that I do have my eyes on getting a couple of pairs of the fixed circulars to try them out. Again, I think what I'm planning on doing rather than just going whole hog in, um, what I'll do is I'll buy the 2.25 and a 2.5 fixed circular give them a try see how they work out for socks and if I like them then I'll just buy them. Um, the Master Andrew bought me a blending board. I absolutely love it. I want to say a massive thank you to Sarah um, who reminded me that I had had my eyes on a blending board and directed Andrew to get me one. I need Rolex. I don't have them here. I got very, very excited. Um, yes, that's my new hobby, making Rolex. I do need Andrew to get all my fibre out of his wardrobe. And then that's what I'm going to do. There'll be no po podcast for months because I'll be just in a wee rabbit hole making Rolex. Not necessarily spinning with the Rolex, but I'll definitely be making them. I have been very generous, generously gifted some gifts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through them. So my lovely friend Heather sent a parcel. Now I knew this parcel was coming because she had said that she was sending it. Um, so in my parcel, first of all, three these. How pretty. Are they? They're little. There's five of them. Yeah, you can pretty much see there's five. And a wee. No, turn your bum round. Yeah. And a wee ram. So we have those. I'm going to stick them back where I had them so I don't lose them stick that there next love it is a bowl of Kinko Zigzag this is colour 3410 which is Wedgwood I, surprisingly enough I don't have this one love it I have noted on it I've noted on all of them. Well, that one I'll know for a fact is a gift. I have noted on them that it's a gift. Um, what I don't want to do is be making Andrew Ryan something with my birthday gift. It's just me. Um, so, I absolutely love it. Do I think I'm going to use it anytime soon? Possibly not. Well, possibly. Um, so this is going to go in to my stash with the rest of the Kinko zigzags and 
I will eventually make socks for them. Um, I do love Kinko Zigzag for socks. My next gift I had never heard before. This is Creme K Soul Wool. It is Edelweiss Classic. It is a 75% virgin wool, 25% polyester. And you're somewhere on it. Yeah. Can you see that? Four ply soap wool with recycled PET bottles. I think that's the nail. Again, this is going to be socks. I don't think. Did I? I've not picked a pattern, however, I do have both. Um, I am currently at the moment going through my pattern list. Oh, never told you what colour it was. Um, can you see that there? Four o five, which I think is sky blue. Yeah, it's sky blue. You get four hundred and twenty meters and a hundred grams. Um, that's going to be plenty for socks. Um, at the moment I am going through my pattern list. Um, I kind of lost track of my patterns and what I'm doing is I'm going through all my patterns and when I find a pattern that I think, oh, that would go lovely with that, I'm adding it on to, I've got a spreadsheet of all my yarn and I put the pattern with the yarn, then I go into Ravelry and do it on Ravelry. So I have two lists. And finally from Heather, as if that wasn't enough. Can I just say Heather, that was way too much. Is, however I'm very grateful. Is Fibre Spates, Vivacious 4 Ply. This is colour 609, which is Peacock. I do have another one of these in my stash that I'd accidentally bought to make socks with Ryan for Ryan even and now this is a hundred percent superwash merino which is absolutely no use whatsoever for socks especially no socks for Ryan so what I'm gonna do is I may give up one of my other sock yarns um but one of my other stashed sock yarns for socks for Ryan and pair this in the other peacock up to be something now I haven't I have been having a look I don't know I could make use the two of them and make a shawl I need more shawls like a hole in the head obviously I'm doing a lot of saving west shawls this year the chances that I wear any of them are slim to none Let's be honest. So I'm wanting to make something that I will wear. And I've just had a wee thought. Either making a ranunculus or... What was the other thought? See, my memory is shocking. Um, or marling it together with an undyed yarn and making something. Yeah, so that is going to sit in my stash um, until I figure out what I'm planning on doing with it. So hopefully it won't sit too long. My next gift, now I need to bring out my project bag. This is a present that I received from Denise. It wasn't just this, there was something else. I'll show you that in a minute. It's a bag tag. It's so cute. Absolutely love it. Now, when I opened the gift for Denise, this was the first thing that I saw. And I nearly cried. It's absolutely gorgeous. I will leave links to Denise's shop. Um, so I got this, which is my bag tag, which I love. I'm going to put that over there because I'm working on those socks. And I also received... How gorgeous is that? 
Now, this is Happy Birthday. It's a 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. You get 400 metres and 100 grams. For this, I bought, I think it was a set of five patterns from Vicky Moroz, who is a Ukrainian designer. Alex from Iron Corner, Karen from Stitches and Jack, and Jeanette from Crafty Clegg's Creations are doing a Eurovision sock along in May. It starts tomorrow. So, you can either use blue and yellow yarn or purchase a pattern from a Ukrainian designer. I absolutely love Vicky's patterns. Absolutely adore them. Um, I have done the fairy tale socks. I've done them. I think that's the only pattern of Vicky's that I've done, but I absolutely adored that pattern. I do follow Vicky on Instagram and she keeps putting pictures of socks on going. Oh. So I finally bit the bullet. There was about two or three pairs of socks that I'd I kept seeing and I was like I really need to go buy that pattern and I was lucky enough that they came in as a pack of five. You can buy them indi individually, you can get them as a set of three socks or you can get them as a set of five. Um, I'll stick a picture in for what this is going to be. This is going to be turned into Minimalist by Vicky Morose. Um, it's plain sock with a cable detail up the back of the leg. I think they're going to be lovely. So that's what this is going to be turned into. Next. Oh. Can you tell my brain is gone? I want to thank Heather for the lovely gifts. And I want to thank Denise and Ian for the lovely gifts. I wasn't expecting anything. However, I'm exceptionally grateful for my birthday gifts and I'm going to be using them soon. So excited. Next. I might have went a bit spendy. Well, we'll talk about what I didn't buy first. As I have mentioned before, I am a patron of Mandy who dyes mouse bits yarn. As a patron... The level that I am at, each month there's a draw for winning a skein of yarn. And I won. I just love it. Now, my, this was, I think it was last month, maybe last month, that I'd won. And it was early on in the month. Was it early on in the month? I can't remember. At some point last month, Mandy had messaged me and says, um, just to let you know, you've won the Patreon skein. I can either dye you up a custom colourway, or if you're wanting, if there is a colourway that you'd like, let me know. And I says, well, look, what I'm wanting, I'm wanting two skeins of the same colour because I'm wanting to make another nightfall show by AK Laurie Designs. I'll stick a picture under the Nightfall show. Um, I'm wanting it done in proper yarn. As nice as the one that I did was, there's just a lot of negativity in that. And I wouldn't say it's my favourite. Um, but I'm wanting to change that. I'm wanting to do another one. But I'm wanting to do it in hand dyed. So the plan was I was going to pick my favourite from her update and get two of them. However. So, love this. So this one is Poppy the Poppins. And it really does look like Poppy. It is absolutely gorgeous. However, I didn't get two of these. What I did get Is Mr. Rocket. I need two skeins. So. I'm going to have. Poppy and Rocket. 
in a show, possibly like that. Like that. Try to think how that works. Yeah, because if that's at the bottom, it's going to be at my bum. Yeah, so it's probably going to go that way. Less likely all the white will show up. Marks. Yeah, so I'm going to do it that way. So I'll start off with Mr. Rocket. Obviously, it starts with the bottom up. So I'll start with Mr. Rocket. And then I'll add Poppy in. And it's going to be, I think it's going to be stunning. Also be that way. So go that way. Um, what I'm going to do, first of all, because the plan is I'm going to use the full 800 grams, is what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a small amount of each of them and do a square in my corner to corner blanket. That way I've I've got it. It's in there. It's done. It's fine. Um. So yeah. So this one was a gift. This one I did pay for. And it is stunning. So thank you to Mandy for my lovely gift. Love it. And yes. Absolutely love it. Next. Now the last three I did buy. Actually, the last four, because I keep missing this one. As you're aware, I am purchasing Mandy's Year of Yarn. This is the May colourway. How pretty is that? Stunning. You fail. So, this will be socks. The socks that I'm planning on making for this, this is also going to be an entry into, I don't know if that one, Denise's one, will get finished for the Ukrainian make along. However, I think that's going to look stunning with just the cable up the back. This one, I am doing a Spring Gentleness by Vicky Morose. I'll stick a Morose. I'll stick a picture in. Sorry for the flashy, flashy lights. It's bin day. And we, our bins get collected on a bank holiday, apparently. I'm going to take a teeny tiny wee break. Because they do get quite rattly. Can off the top of my head remember what heel is in that one, so I think what I'm planning on doing is doing the integrated heel. That sock heel fits me perfectly, so that's the only modification that I'm going to do. I think the pattern suggests a 2.5. If I remember correctly, I did the 2.5 on the fairy tale socks, and they were a, they are getting a bit loose. So I'm just going to do a 2.25. It'll be fine. Stunning. That's going to be gorgeous. Um, I need to cast this on tomorrow. Um, these are cuffed down, if I remember right. I'm pretty sure they're cuffed down. I am hoping to get them done quite quickly. Um, I'm going to go back to working every morning I'm going to spend a couple of hours just working on the sock and hopefully I should be able to get them finished obviously this this one doesn't matter if I get it finished because obviously as long as you can get it on your foot then it's fine so I'm not going to do them two at a time I'm going, just going to do them one at a time um, that way at least I'll have one sock. Yeah. And I've just remembered I've got another sock that I need to do. So Denise's Minimalist will get done after I've done... Possibly after I've done that one. So, what's next? Um, next is Coronation. This one I did purchase. Look at that. Look at that splash. Love it. Um, this is coronation. Again, all Mandy's yarns are 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. You get 400 metres and 100 grams. I never noticed that. 
some bleedy me a car on first wash. Never ever had any of your Mandy's yarn bleed at all. Yeah, so my switch yarns, coronation, have absolutely no idea what that's going to be. Um, apart from gorgeous. Possibly might get eventually get put into a Stephen West show, let's be honest. That one's destined to be put in a Stephen West show. If you watch Mandy's podcast, the Year of Yarns are to go with Denise's hashtag Year of the Sock 2023. Obviously, she's wanting all the Year of Yarns to work together so that you could technically make a massive blanket with the Year of Yarn. However, the prompt for this month wouldn't fit in with the rest of the colours that Mandy had. So what she's done, she's done the May colourway, which will go with the yes, rest of the year of yarn. However, she's dyed two special colourways. Star Wars, Star Trek. Herein lies my quandary. I have a pattern picked out. I just can't decide which yarn is getting put in the project. I'm going to butcher the name of this pattern and the name of the designer. I wholeheartedly apologise. This is Sock and Muster May. No idea what that means. Apart from May. Might be a sock. Sock buster? Don't know. Sock something, May. So it's for May, so I'm in the right month. And it's by Petra um, Boer. We've pictured them though. The socks are stunning. Absolutely love it. Now, the slight issue I have with the pattern is on German. Unfortunately, I am the wrong sister to be reading this pattern because I did not take German. I was absolutely hopeless at German. However, my sister was great. Thanks to Google Translate, I have a fair idea what I'm going to do. I've literally put all the bits for the chart. I have no idea whatsoever on the entire pattern. It does come with a chart. So I've taken the chart and I've taken the key, put that into Google Translate, figured out roughly what they're trying to do, then looked up and looked up YouTube and figured out the stitches. It's all fine. I think I know what I'm doing. So I don't know which one would be better. See if I put the yarns this way, right, so I'll turn them that way. I might let you decide which one I'm going to have. Now, I could be really adventurous and do both of them, but let's be honest, there's absolutely no chance of me getting four pairs of socks done in a month. As much as I would like to, it's not happening. So, I keep going between the two of them. This one is Astral Journey. This is Astral Conflict, so that's Star, Star Trek, Star Wars. Um, yep, yeah. Astral Conflict, love them. However, I can't decide which one I'm going to use. See, I'm thinking because these are quite light, obviously I think the starkest colour is this one. That might look quite nice because you'll see the stitch definition in that one. This one, however, love it. However, the, there is quite dark blue bits and I don't know if the stitch pattern will show up. It might show up and it might look spectacular. I can't decide. So, you get to pick which one for that pattern that I can't pronounce. Let me know in the comments down below. So that was my yarn purchases, of which, as you can see, there is a lot. Um, I did go a bit mental on Monday's update. I'm really regretting by now, because it's absolutely stunning. When 
it came to update my totals. It was a bit, yeah, you need to wind that back. I am currently sitting with three bags full of yarn that still haven't been put on Ravelry, been put on the database, or been put away. I'm needing, I might actually do that this afternoon, get it out, go through all my boxes, make sure everything's there. That's a fun afternoon. Not. Um, I might actually do it on Zoom tomorrow. That could also work. Um, so that's my plan. So that is not all the gifts that I received. Oh God, and again. Goodness sake. I also purchased new show cuffs. I had purchased these. So I've got my light tan and my black one. However, it means I have to take them off my wrist to put it on a shawl. And then I thought, oh, actually, I could just buy new shawl cuffs. And then I'll have dedicated shawl, shawl cuffs and dedicated dress ones. So I purchased... Um, when I placed the order, I said to Mandy, I don't care um, what colour it is. I did want the chocolate, that's a chocolate leather. And I said to Mandy, I says, I don't care. There was a lot of people on Zoom wanting the red. And I was like, if there is a red lane, great. If not, I'm no overly bothered what colour it is. So I did get the red and the tan. Again, I'll leave links to Mandy's shop down below. I'll put them there out of Patches Road. Then there was a, a gift. And again, I nearly cried. The lovely Mr Davies made me a notebook cover. Absolutely adore it. Um, as you can see, I'm using the notebook. I've got my April rotation. And I've now got my May rotation. That's not completely up to date because I need to add, once I cast on the socks, I need to add them on. Absolutely love this to bits. Obviously, once I finish the notebook, I can just slide that out, put a new one on. So, thank you very much to the lovely Dave for this. Oh, I'm feeling so happy. I do regularly just sit and stroke it. I'm weird. I know. Next in the parcel is this. I keep... I'm going to end up breaking that. It's a bit... Now, Mandy did admit Dave did not make this. She did buy this. There is going to be pouches in Mandy's shop. And I'll buy loads of them. As you can see, this is to hold. Because I had to ask Mandy, will Dave be able to make a pouch? To keep all my special stitch markers in. So, I have safety donuts. Safety hexagony bolly bits and safety we'll say peace signs. However, if a project is doing my head in, I generally put them that way. Um so they're in there and also in here is stitch markers from Heather. We have my drinks stitch markers from Denise. I need to buy many of these rings. Might need to buy some of them. Just to keep them all together. My two snow globes from Sally. Um I also forgot. My wee progress keeper from Alex. 
That one's from Alex. That one's from Alex. And my gorgeous wee bead stitch marker. Read them back. From Sarah. The other one for Sarah is on a project. Absolutely love them. I want to say a massive, massive thank you to you and Dave and Mandy for the gifts. Absolutely love them all. Thank you very much. And yes, I will be buying more leather stuff from your shop, Dave. Don't care what it is, I'll buy it. I'm obsessed. Um, on that note, Ryan did say thank you very much for his spanner cuffs. I do have a picture. If you ever put a shop on... I'll add it on as a review because he loves it. Um, he loves his shawl cuff as well. Um, he doesn't wear it when he's actually working in a boiler in case he lands up breaking it. But he loves it. <gasps> Absolutely adore it. So that's all I bought. God, I'm nearly an hour in. I'm um, two sections down though. Um. Mandy and Denise's shops will definitely be the link down below. Please, please, please go over and buy all their stuff because they're amazing. But see, the more you buy, the less of an opportunity there is for me to buy it. Just saying. I have quite a few finished objects. I think I've got four. Three, four, yeah. Well, three and some bits. So, the first thing I have finished... It's done. Excuse the cables. I have finished... Let me see. You're not gonna, I'm not going to be able to get all this in. Yeah. My stripy blanket I have finished. This is the special stripy blanket by Julia Marsh. I've been saying that you can only get the pattern on Ravelry. That is a load of rubbish. It's a paid for pattern. It is a pay for pattern on Ravelry, which where you can purchase it for £3.50. Or alternatively, you can purchase it as a download on Will Warehouse. It is £3.60 on Will Warehouse. Um, this, where is it? This was where I was on the last episode. I'm going to take this out. So I've managed to finish. So I was there. So I managed to finish that repeat and do the last repeat. And I've still not cut these down. I might do that while I'm editing this. Because I normally do that on the desk. I'll cut these down and then f separate them to make a nice fringe. It's no massive. It's no even. My full wingspan. However, it is a really nice blanket for just putting over your lap. Obviously, it would go that way. Yeah. Absolutely did thoroughly enjoy this pattern. Modifications that I've made to it. This, the pattern recommends you do it in a 6mm needle. I wasn't really that keen on the fabric on the 6mm. So I've knocked it down to a 5. Absolutely love it. Um, I wasn't looking for a massive blanket. Just something to put over my legs when... The window's open and it's getting a wee bit chilly but I'm still wanting fresh air but no cold enough that I need to go put the heating on. Yeah, I really love this blanket. I use, now what I'll do is I'll tell you the yarn that I used, then I will tell you, if I missed one. Oh no, because it's the other way around. This colour here is, this is all done in Stylecraft Special Chunky. This one is shade 1210, which is parchment. In total, no, it's no. The. 
this is parchment. Um, you do the cast on and the bind off and the parchment and then the bumps and parchment. This, in total, I used 77.04 grams or 110.94 metres. Next one is this. Is that right? Yeah. This one, which is shade 1022, which is pistachio. For that, I used 72.45 grams or 104.33 metres. This lovely one is shade 1080, which is pale rose. I used 79.63 grams or 114.67 metres. This one, went a bit ahead of myself there, is shade 1722, which is storm blue. For that one, I used 77.42 grams or 111.49 metres. This one is shade 1709, which is gold. I used 74.96 grams or 107.94 metres. This one is shade 1725, which is shade shade no it's not sage um i used 75.04 grams and 108.06 meters and the last one is shade 1083 which is pomegranate i used 75.32 grams and 108.46 meters so in total, this entire blanket took 531.86 grams or 765.89 meters. I am ecstatic. Won't lie, really happy that this is now finished. I will be entering this into the hashtag take it easy mile being run by my yarny corner which is to make something that you find relaxing. That does finish on, I think it's the 31st of May. Pretty sure it's the 31st of May that finishes. Um, or is it the 1st of June? Maybe head out to Alex and Alex's podcast and confirm that. So that is done. That sits on the bed when I'm crafting in case I get cold so absolutely love it I would recommend the pattern obviously you don't have to use the kit through a warehouse obviously you can buy colours that you like to go together um, and make it that way or just use any chunk of yarn that you've got that also works Um, I had, didn't use 100 grams of any of them I think had I used the correct size, there was a chance that I possibly could have used more. Um, I do have wee nuggets, each of them left. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to be doing with them. Probably start another blanket, let's be honest. That's kind of what I do. The next one. I have finished my face of cheer cow. Now, can I do it so that you can see all the colours? So, was it there? Yeah. I was here. The last time you saw it. So, I've put all this in and I put the last part of the... Because obviously this is where you cast on. This is where you cast off. And it worked out quite well. You see. I don't know what happened. At this side. Actually it's not too bad if you. Stretch it. I think I might have just went a bit too tight. To be honest. At my kitchener stitch. 
yeah so this is where it started this is where it finished um slight confession i obviously to finish it off i purchased 100 grams and sod's law i just finished it off cast it off and what was i doing i was at my desk and i was looking for something and i was like the random balls sitting on my desk yeah, it was the random other half of this. Really? So it turns out I didn't need to buy a new ball, but hey ho, I've got it now, so duh. So we have Rusty Ferret. Don't know what, the, I think that might be a drops. That's Rusty Ferret. I don't know what that one is. And that one is the zigzag. <gasps> Thank you, Master Ryan. You are awesome. Um, are you saying hello? Hi. Hi. Here he comes. Are you saying hi to the peoples? Say hello, peoples. Hello, peoples. Right, are you going to go get Dad? Yeah, so that is it. Done. I've not... I will eventually go through and list each of them. Um, I will have to find the colours. I know what some of them are. I don't know what they all are. So, I will try and list them in. Um, the black is shade 400. It drops Fable. That I do know I used 26.22 grams. Or 107.50 metres. Obviously taking that away from the 216 grams that this weighs. Means that there was 189.78 grams. So 759.12 metres. I'm just going to divide that total by the 24. No, nope, blocks is the word I was looking for. And it will be roughly estimated. So, I have not worn it yet. Oh, find another stitch marker. Who knew? So, yeah, this is done. I That will go into my rotation for dog walking. Really, really happy with that. That is the Festive Cheer Cowl by Yarnia Designs. Made absolutely no modifications with that at all. Um, I did, however, make the larger size because you can do a 12 block or... A 24 block add on the 24 block. I used a 3.25 millimeter higher higher sharp. Yeah, um, would recommend that pattern. It's actually a really, a really nice knit. It just took me forever. It really shouldn't take you six months to do an advent project. Obviously, I never done that as an advent project. I seen it on Alex's Vlogmas, and I was like. So that is that. Again, that one's going to be entered into the Take It Easy Mail because it is a really nice, re relaxing knit. There's only about seven or eight bits where you need to cro concentrate and the rest of it's just straightening. So that is that one. My next finished object was not even on my radar. I'd got... I'd finished the blanket I'd finished the cowl and I was like I'm wanting something quick mine's not even more that it's not even blocked I have made another dishcloth this is the date squares dishcloth by the kitchen sink shop if I don't know if you would get it this month this was the May dishcloth I did sign up for the year of the dishcloth um I signed up last year I don't know if I I don't know if you have to keep signing up every year however I did at some point sign up and now I get them every month um while I'm here I am going to weave that end in that was a really really quick knit um i finished this pretty much in one sitting enjoyable knit i am going to try 
at least once a week. We'll say once a week. Do a dishcloth. Um, I'm way behind. I don't think I've done any of last year's ones. They've still to be done. Um, I've got dishcloth patterns coming out my ears, apparently. I did find an ebook that I'd purchased at some point, which is all dishcloths. Have I done anything out of that book? No. So, my plan is to do more dishcloths. I do have quite a bit of dishcloth cotton. <laughs> yeah, so that's my plan. Um, I use the Rainbow Cotton 8 stroke 8 solid. Um, it is shade 53, which is pastel yellow. I use 25.66 grams or 38.49 meters. Again, the Rainbow Cotton is a... Sorry, I had to make sure I was reading that in on the right side. Um, the Rainbow Cotton is a 100% cotton. I think it's mercerised cotton, if I remember rightly. Or unmercerised. It's some sort of... It is for dishcloth, so... This pattern isn't on Ravelry at the moment. I did go looking for it. Um, I know Heather had said there is another pattern that's that she was putting on Ravelry. It was a free one. Um... So I'll probably do that one as well. Because why not? So that is my very quick... I need to make sure I keep showing it the right way. When I showed it to Heather, I was like, oh, do you like my dishcloth? And she was like, actually, is it that way where it goes? I think it might actually be that way. I have no I actually is that way. Yeah. It's a really, really nice dishcloth, obviously. It will soften up once I wash and block it. And obviously you can stick it in the tumble dryer. So that's that one. My next one is not a full finished object, it's more work that I've put on my blanket this was where it was the last time you've seen it so i've put on another two rows i think from here on in what i might do because this got a bit tedious is what i'll do is i'll add on a white block and then a color block and then just white block and color block it these are interesting enough the coloured ones are interesting enough the white ones get a bit it's white however see if I do this because I had it set up as a four before to see if I was actually going to like it I see if I hold it that way how bright does that look I think it's going to be amazing absolutely love it I'm just randomly putting colours in I do try not to have same ones touching um, they were different enough same with these ones obviously they were different enough Obviously, this has got pink bits in it. That's got light pink bits in it. But they're not, like, the same colour. Um, yeah. So, this is it here. Um, the white, I have undyed. I have used 19.76 grams or 73.72 metres. So, that's for all of these, that entire white strip. Now, I need to remember which way this is going. So, it's going from the top down. This, I'm not entirely sure what that is. Um, this was given for a woman that's a neighbour of my mum's. Don't know what this is. However, I did use 2.74 grams or 10.96 metres. This one is Rusty Ferret. Who knew? 
a fantastic adventure. I used 2.78 grams or 11.81 grams. This one is more yarn fay. I need to find out what her name is on Ravelry. Um, because it was on Ravelry, she was giving away a whole load of scraps. Or she'd asked on a group that I'm part of if anybody wanted any scraps. Because I've got a massive great big bag for it. And some of them were like, I think one the biggest amount of yarn that I had was like 78 grams. And it literally, I don't think there was anything under about 30 grams. So there is quite a lot of it. Um, this one, I don't know what that is, but it's really, really pretty. Um, this I used 3.05 grams or 12.20 metres. This one, I love, love that. This is Rusty Ferret Doll Flaming Heart. I used 2.99 grams or 12.71 metres. This is the Kinko Purples. I never actually got into this part. It's shade 3235, which I get said was purples. It's, I used 2.58 grams or 10.84 metres. This one is another unknown one from the Women Along Road. I used 3.21 grams or 12.84 metres. This one is John Arbin Textiles Knit by Numbers. It is shade KBN20. I use 3.21 grams or 12.84 metres. So yeah. In total, I have used 40.32 grams or 163.28 metres. I think in total, I'm up to about 300 metres. A yarn that's been used. So it's fair amount I've nearly used an entire skein so far obviously I am wanting this to be a big blanket I think I'd said I was wanting it was at 96 squares be 96 um, I'm just going to keep working on it I do try to put a couple of squares in every day I think if I do an undyed and then a scrap one I'm going to skein up the poppy and the rocket. I'll get them added in. Um, I'll also do a quick square of that one. That way at least it's going to be in here. Technically I should be putting it in my chinese miter blanket. Um, I'll put a square in here and then a square in my chinese miter blanket. Because that's the only blanket that I need all the colours in. And that way I do have two blankets. So yeah. So I will now move this up, there we go, so I have moved it up, I'll just keep working on this and you'll probably see it next podcast and hopefully it will be a wee bit bigger. In total I have crafted 813.84 metres or 1,834.01 metres. So I'm, all, I'm really happy. Um, I'm happy to have the stripy blanket and the festive cheer pile of the needles. So hopefully this is going to be quite a good crafty year. As you're aware, my goal is to craft 25,000 metres from my stash. As I said earlier, I was going to discuss the whole buying of yarn. While I was updating my database, when you're adding stuff in on Excel, because I've got them set up, so on the top, the top of every page I've got brand, colourway, yarn weight, grams and how many meters it is um i do have other columns in it because i've got how much is remaining how much i've used and i did add an additional column so i could keep track of how much i'd brought in 
Um, it's nothing fancy, it's just a basic Excel sheet. However, while I, I think I've done a big update with all the birthday yarns and the yarns, the yarns for Mandy that I bought, very rarely do I look at the bottom. I try to, as much as I can, avoid the bottom of the Excel spreadsheet like the plague because it just takes, it's depressing. I won't lie, it is depressing. I had to start a new page. So I've just like shifted everything down. There wasn't enough yarn in it that I didn't see what the total was. And I was like, that is ridiculous. I have 260,237.63 metres of yarn in my stash. Um, I think I have... Because Heather did ask how many items was that. Now, so this is just individual brands or individual colourways, and I think it was like 609 different types of yarn that I've got in my stash. And as I said earlier, I do have another three bags of yarn that I know for a fact the vast majority of that is now on my spreadsheet. So, the plan for this afternoon is to spend a couple of hours going through might actually be easier going through my box to be honest do the boxes first and then that way either tomorrow and Wednesday I can put yarn into where they're supposed to be so yeah that is the reason why I have decided to I'm not stopping buying yarn I'm just going to be more purposeful with the yarn buying. It will need to have a project to be bought. Previous outgoing, I had previously crafted 5,905.57 metres. This week I have crafted 1,834.01 metres, which isn't too bad to be honest. Which brings my total outgoing to 7,736.58 metres. Fair enough. Um, I think I'm just under the total meterage that I need to be at. But again, I've got four, possibly five Stephen West projects on the go. So I'm no overly concerned about that. Previous income in. was 23,170 metres. I have added 4,025 metres. Now, bear in mind, no way that did I buy. I feel like I need to justify this. I only purchased 2,000 metres um, and 500 grams. The rest was all gifts. Now, I did forget to mention that I get my Patreon mini skein. Again, I didn't pay for... Well, I technically do pay for that. But I choose to think that I don't pay for it. I just get it as a free gift. Um, Obviously, Poppy Yarn, I didn't pay for. That was my prize for winning the Patreon giveaway. And the other 400 grams of yarn were a birthday gift. And it would just be rude not to accept it. That brings my total so far this year to 27,195 metres, which is horrendous. I have a good 80, 90 projects sitting on Ravelry, in my Ravelry queue, that have the pattern and the yarn all ready to go. I just need to knit it. So my plan is going to be Rather than buying yarn to make a project, I am going to make a project that I already have everything there for. So, the plan is, I am going to pick a project from my queue to cast on. Unless it's, there's a deadline to it, like the Ukrainian make-along that needs to be started this month. That means to target I have 17,263.42 metres. That I'm not overly concerned about because I do 
seem to rattle off projects in clumps. I have crocheted so far this year 1,331.86 metres. I have knit 6,407.72 metres. I've not spun anything and I've not woven anything. I am taking part in the Ravelry Project Challenge. My challenge this year is to craft 30 projects in 2023. So far this year I've crafted 14. I'm nearly halfway there. Which is great considering we're only in May. I have completed that sitting at 47%. So it's no horrendous. That's quite good. My meterage is slightly under, but I can make that up. Um, I'm trying to think, what have we got on those just now? I've got about two, 200 metres in socks. Stephen West blanket, God knows how much that's going to be. Summer Sorrel, that's 1,200 metres, give or take. So yeah, I have got a fair amount that would bump that up if I just hurried up and knit. So yeah, we'll wait and see. In the naughty corner. Now this isn't a project that you've seen at all. You may have heard myself and the lovely Mandy mention Lorraine from the future. Lorraine is one of our lovely Zoom ladies and the lovely Lorraine for my birthday very kindly gifted me a pattern. I'll stick a picture in. This is the, I'm sure it's Shy Zen Bag by Beatrice Macy. I have cast this on and ripped it out. This will be the fifth time. The issue that I have, it's a lovely pattern, however, I have loosely knit. I am now at the stage where I could technically, I need that to stop looking like a nipple. I think the way this bag's made, it is going to sit funny, but it keeps looking like a nipple. So, I'd made the decision last night because I was going to work on it again and I was like, I'm really not happy with it. Um, I am using a 3.5 DPN. I'm using two DPNs. I had to go buy DPNs to make this. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip it out and I'm going to cast it on a 3.75. It is pretty... This is an eye cord. Can you see? The bottom of the bag's made by an eye cord spiral. I think my gauge is too tight. So I think what I'm going to do for the bottom to see if it helps, I am going to do it in a 3.75 to loosen that off a bit and hopefully that will sit flatter then pick up because I think at that point once you've done the bottom of the bag you then pick up all the stitches and you start knitting round so I think what I'm going to do is I'll do it as a, as a 3.75 and then pick it up as I'm swimming between a 3 and a 3.25 I'll see when I get there Again, the pattern is easy enough. I think the first time that I done it, I did miss out a bit. And it was horrendous because it literally just looked like a triangle. I was like, nope, that's not right. Um, the reason for that is because I missed out an entire section where you had to knit it twice. And it looks so bright on the inside. Look at that. So my plan is, it's coming out again. So I'm about to take my big beginning of the row marker out. I'll be flump. Yeah, so I'm going to pull this out. I am going to start again. I am using Arnie and Carlos, the Regia design line, which is Arnie and Carlos. This is shade 03657. That's what it's supposed to look like if you knit it up in a sock. 
it's called Read. I'm going to give it one last try because I really do want to make that. I also want to make the, is it the bagu pouch that she does. Because I bought that part as well. Apologies again to Alex who tried to purchase it for me. But it was a bit too quick going, oh, love it. Yeah, it's a, this is a 75% virgin wool, 25% nylon. It's 150 grams. It's, this isn't 150 grams. I took some off for some reason. And you get 375 metres in the 150 grams. It's quite a thick four ply. Is that, a four, is that definitely a four ply? No, it's not. It's a six ply, that's why. Yeah, that may actually be the issue. Um, I think what I might do is change the yarn in that case because obviously I hadn't realised that this is a sport weight. Um, I want to thank Lorraine for the birthday gift. It is very much appreciated. Huge thank you to Lorraine for my birthday gift. I do love the pattern. I just have to try and get it to work. Which I don't think it is the pattern's fault. I think it's just me no concentrating. So hopefully the next time you see me I'll have made some sort of progress on it and I'll let you know how we get on. My first project I didn't forget to finish. I'm nearly there. I am so very close. They're back on individual needles. This is the Rye Light by Tin Can Knits. I have the heel in, I'm trying to think, where was I? I was here the last time you saw it, on both socks, wait a minute, oh this is going well. Seriously, I think my special awareness is cabbage. Right, there we go. I was there the last time on both socks. I have managed to finish off the heel on both, the, finish off the foot on both socks. The heel is in both socks. I have started the ribbon on this one. So I'll continue working on that today. And then my plan is going to be tonight on Zoom. I'm just going to work on the sock. I need to get 67 rows done on the leg. Get the cuff put on. And then that will be my April socks finished. I um, absolutely love the pattern. I think what I'm going to do is rather than put that on there, I am going to move this on to this needle. And then, with any luck, it's no way any luck, so I'm definitely going to get it finished because I need the needles back. I'm going to get these finished today. Um, I've only got 12 more rounds to go on this cuff I'll only have 82 rounds to put on this up so that's with the 67 for the leg and the 15 for the cuff I can get that done during zoom um the yarn that I am using that is not the right tag is the lovely sorry it's a bit tangled this is mouse witch yarns it is the year of yarn for April. Absolutely stunning. Look at the pops in that. Oh, gives me warm fuzzies, Mandy. I'm very, very close to finishing this. Um, the Rye Light uh, pattern is a free pattern on Ravelry. It's part of the simple collection that Tin Can Knits do that shows you how to knit a sock. I am not doing... The pattern calls for cuff down with our heel flapping gusset. I have done toe up and I've made the integrated heel. So I'm using a 2.25mm higher higher sharp. And the mouse switch yarns is a 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. You get 400 metres and 100 grams. So I'm just going to keep plodding away on this. My next project... I don't know why I went, because I actually really enjoying it. And I have two. This is the Summer Sorrel. Now, if you give me two seconds. This is the Summer Sorrel. 
how absolutely stunning does that look? Love it. Now it is currently squished on a cord, but I will try and find it out. I do have safety donuts deployed, so my stitches are not going to fall off. I wonder if you'll see better on that, don't know. This looks pretty, both sides. How nice does that look? This... Had I cast this on? No, I hadn't. I was going to cast it on. So obviously this is how much I've done in two weeks. This was cast on on my birthday. I have continued to work on it. Um, some parts take longer than others. At this point I should be able to fly through it because I am now officially finished doing the dipped stitches. I have started marlin in, you see it this way, you see it better this way. I have started marlin in the second colour. Um, I'm doing the pattern as it's written getting myself in an offy tangle so this yarn is mouse witch yarns in the color we crocus this is the teeny tiny wee amount i've got left i'm not overly concerned that i'm going to be playing yarn chicken as i said i've only got another after this row i've got another four rows to go oh no that'll be fine because i've only got another two rows in this color to go so that's fine no really concerned. Um, yeah, my switch yarns, Crocus. This is my yarn corner, and it's the unicorn bubbles. And my third color is going to be again. Where's my? There's there. My switch yarns, Dale goes hand gliding. I do have another slightly darker blue. These have capped sleeves. I'm not an awfully great fan of capped sleeves. I don't like... I'm forever pulling this. I don't like my... This part of my arm being on show. Um. So my plan, I will in the unicorn bubbles... Once I've split for the sleeves, I think my plan's going to be is I'm going to do the sleeves. I'm going to finish off the sleeves and I'm going to do them to bit here. So I'm going to make the sleeves longer. I will do the same as what I've done with the crocus. I'll get 25 grams. I'll start blending in this one. Now, this is a slightly more cropped top than what I would like. I'll maybe nick some of this to do my blankets. I'll quickly add them in. Then I'll do my sleeves. And then what's left, I'll get to 25 grams in that bit. Then I'll add this one. Um, again, see how it's looking at 25 grams. I like to have... I'm not going to have it covering my bum, but I'm wanting it to come with the ribbon included I'm wanting it to sit sort of hip length because obviously you've got high hip and you've got lower hip I'm pretty much at the top of my thigh I'm wanting it to sit which means I might need to add a fourth colour I'm not overly concerned about it to be honest I have got the option of adding a fourth colour if I really need it absolutely love it right so I am going to stick my strawberry Starbucks drink right here. So this showed that I was here. Um, yeah, I've got another four. After this row, I've got another four rows to do. Then at that point, I split for the sleeves. Again, actually, I should be able to get it on. It's not going to sit right, but. Because cable's not nearly long enough. I actually might need to put it on a longer cable. I might actually do that, stick it on a longer cable so that I can actually see where this is sitting at. 
because I can't get it on. It's sitting pretty much there, so I'm getting to the point where I could be doing, yeah. Once I'm finished the third chart, I'm going to put, split the needles off and do it on two cables. Obviously, I've got spare safety donuts there. So stick it on another longer cord and try it on and see how that goes. Um, this is a really, really nice pattern. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to keep working on this. Hopefully by the next time you see it, I will either be finished and wearing it or be close to finishing. Um, I've, Obviously, it is taking forever because of the dip stitches. That does hold you back. Um, another four rows, I will be done with the dip stitches and at that point it's just plain knitting. Now the pattern does suggest, obviously this is mostly purled, it's reverse stock neck. Once you've separated for the sleeves, then at that point the pattern does tell you to turn it inside out. So, obviously right now I am knitting this way so I'm going round that way she then tells you to turn it inside out I think you would possibly have to slip a stitch you then turn it inside out obviously the last stitch that you knitted you then move over and then you start knitting that way so it's just plain knit stitches for their own and obviously you're still hard for your reverse stock net on the other side I think it's going to be a lot quicker once I'm working knit stitches, obviously I'm quite slow at the purling. It's not horrendous. Actually, I'm quite enjoying purling, to be honest. Because that's two projects in a row that's just all pearls. So yeah, I would highly recommend the pattern. It's a paid-for pattern on Ravelry. It is €9.50 Euros, nine dollars fifty. Or £7.89. It is part of the Wool and Pine Book 1, which is a collection of patterns. That's $34 or £28.23. Um, I just bought this in the Spring Sorrel. Um, I have every intention of doing another one in one colour and in decay. So it should work up quicker. I'm using a 3.75mm high hair shirt. Is my swatch. I did a swatch and everything. I did a swatch. I swatched people's. Managed to get gauge. So I'm using the recommended needle size. And it's going to awesome. Hopefully next time you see it. It will be done. And my final whip. is the star blanket. It's still going, people. I have not made any more mistakes. I've not put a great amount of work on this, pretty much because the thing is my house of. So where was I the last time you saw it? The last time you saw it was here. I've finished off the first... It's not even the repeat, it's the set up round and I've done a repeat I am very very close to doing the second repeat I think after the second repeat I've got another six repeats to go I think this might need to be become a priority um I've just started yeah I've just started a new round I'm gonna to have to get it done because it's taken forever I may need to become slightly more monogamous with the patterns. Um, Star Flanket is by Stephen West. It is six euros or five pounds fifty on Ravelry or the West Knits website. Um, there's a couple of wee mistakes in it. Um, I'm forever dropping blooming stitches, but to be honest with you, I don't care. Yeah, I've had to fudge a couple of stitches. I am not going to beat myself up over it. Let's see. There's my decreases. There's my increases. There's a couple of bits that aren't quite right, but to be honest, I don't care. 
Um, in the grand scale of things, I don't care. And if it is blatantly obvious, then again, I don't care. Um, so colours, we have shade 1001, which is white. These are all Stylecraft Special DK. Um, we have shade 1002, which is black. We have this one is shade 1063, which is graphite. And the red is 1010, which is Matador. They are all 100% premium acrylic. You get 295 metres and 100 grams. Um, this is only on section 3. I still have a few more sections to go. Obviously, it does get bigger the further out you go. So, yeah, I'm going to have to put my, pull my finger out because it's obviously... Well, yeah... That's not bad for four months worth of work. Because obviously the first two months were spent mostly knitting on the star flake. But yeah. It is what it is. Um, I'm just going to keep working on it. It's going At this point it's going to become a slow progress. Um... The other projects, I haven't really worked on anything else. I've put maybe the odd row in on the fragmentation show. I've put cream egg socks, I've not maybe put an odd row in that. Um, the Islet Burst Show, again, odd row on it. For the German sock, I will leave it until Friday. So, if you can let me know which one do you think look better and that pattern and I will let you decide and I will cast that on on Saturday um, so they'll go into rotation and I'll do one day that I'm just going to work on socks I'll do the two socks together and then I'll alternate a sock a day um, Summer Sorrow is in rotation and Star Flank is in rotation. I have been chatting for a while now, so I am going to go. I am going to have lunch. I am going to put my dinner on because that should have been on about an hour ago. And it's not. Um, again, please like, subscribe. Um, we have had 300 subscribers. Um, I If I was more organised, I would say that I'd have a giveaway but I wasn't because my head been up with it. Share with your friends. Um I will try to get this to come back down again because I'm obviously if I've not bought a lot then the coming in won't be as long. Then I'll not have as much lined up. I'll actually be able to cast on so I hope you have a very crafty couple of weeks and I will see you back here again soon. Bye.